Hello, Jesse Good here, and today I'm taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con 2016 Doctor Strange and Black Panther exclusive set. This retailed for $40. It is sealed, and it was a Comic Con exclusive, and I think it has 173 pieces. So it is unopened. Mine is number 970. And let's get it open. So once you cut that little strip of tape, which is pretty cool because it has those two little brickhead eyes, you take out this tray, and inside the tray, you can see that there's pieces to build the two brickheads and the two instruction booklets. So here are the brickheads of the set. We got Doctor Strange and Black Panther, both of which are in that brickhead style that is similar to the three other Comic-Con exclusive sets. And I guess let's take a look at Black Panther first. So here is brickhead Black Panther and here is minifigure Black Panther just for size comparison. You can see that this one's actually, I guess, a lot like the minifigure, so it might even be movie-based, uh, but then again, I'm not too familiar with the comics to make that judgment. Either way, there's a lot of exclusive prints, for example, the 2x4 on top, the 1x4 brick right there, and the 1x2 brick, but the, or 1x2 tile right there, but there's actually an exclusive molding as well. If you take this off, it's a 2x3 tile. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this piece, and... The copyright on it says 2015, so it seems like they plan to release it in this set for a while, but other than that, I mean, I don't think it's in any other sets for 2016. The actual design of it, I think, is the most simple out of all of the uh, Marvel Brickheads because it just doesn't have a lot of different colorings and everything. It is all black except for these gray claws and gray feet, and I don't know, I guess that kind of makes it one of my least favorites out of all the Brickheads because I like having all these different curves, which you'll see with Doctor Strange for sure. Uh, but either way, once you take him off, as you can take them off the stand, you can see that the stand itself says hashtag Lego SDCC, which is found in all these promotional brick heads. So that's it for Black Panther, and now let's go on to Doctor Strange. So here is a Doctor Strange brick head, and here's a Doctor Strange Lego minifigure. You see they don't really look alike because I would assume that this one's much more comic based than this movie based minifigure. Either way, I love the design of this guy. I think this is an incredible brick head. It's probably my favorite so far because of how intricate the cape and the hair is. You see, they all follow the same kind of style and they all are the same height and everything, but they really went all out with this cape right here. I just love the curves and everything that makes it look like a real cape or like the cape that the Doctor Strange minifigure actually has on. And the hair is awesome as well. They got that kind of widow's peak type hair with the slick top, black top, and the white on the sides. That just looks incredible. I just love the detailing on that. Either way, there's some exclusive prints as well because you got this uh, one by four tile with kind of his beard right there and this one by four brick with his little amulet. Also, I like how they did this kind of coattail, it looks like, um, on the front right here where they used one of those bracket pieces and two tiles of one by two and a one by one. His accessory is this little kind of, a, I guess, energy kind of thing. And that's the same thing that the minifigure has, but these are just orange. They're not printed or anything like that. And he only has it on one hand. Other than that, I just really like this better because of how intricate that cape and hair is. It just brings out a lot of flavor for what they had to offer, I guess, with the system of Brickheads. And of course, just like any of the other ones from this Comic-Con line, he has a little stand which you can remove him from easily. Uh, just remove his uh, one by two bricks and it says Lego SDCC. So that is it for the Doctor Strange Brickhead and now let's go on to the box on the final verdict. So here's just another quick look at the box. Of course you could slide out the bottom just like that and the top of the box right here shows the top of their heads. And here are the two instruction booklets. You can see inside they both have that same preview that was found in the other Brickhead set that say that there's more coming. March 1st, 2017. So I like being surprised and impressed by Lego, and I'm very surprised and impressed by the Doctor Strange Brickhead. Just the hair build and the cape build is very cool, very different, but I like how they all have a uniform look. Now, Black Panther, on the other hand, he just isn't that impressive of a build. I feel that the actual head is just too basic, and it's it could have been swapped out. If you swap out a few pieces and change the colors, it could have been any character, but Doctor Strange... Yeah, he has that uniform look, but his hair and his cape, those are very specific towards him. They have a lot of flavor, even though it is a simple build. So that's just my thoughts on these brickheads. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.